Everybody is in line at the gates to get into their seats for the first game of the NLCS here in the Colorado Rockies franchise on MLB The Show 22. As today the Rockies go on the road in game number one of the NLCS for the right to go to the World Series against the St. Louis Cardinals at the new Bush Stadium. And you can see the lineups here. Got to watch out for Ryan Mountcastle, one of the newer Cardinals. He has been on fire in this postseason. Jack Flaherty has as well as he pitched a complete game shutout in his very first start in the postseason. So we've got to watch out for him. He should be on fire today. Here is Tim Anderson to lead off the ball game, and he swings through for strike three on the slider away. Flaherty already hot. Make sure you drop a like on today's video if you enjoy. Chris Bryant, number two at the plate, and he's going to get this one jammed into right field for a base hit. Didn't take long for the Rockies to get their first base hit, but Pete Alonzo swings through the high heater. That one was way out of the zone. little ill-advised swing. Here's Salvi Perez. Barely gets the bat on the ball here all the way off the plate on that fastball. And that is going to take the Cardinals through inning number one, pitching-wise. Here's Eliezer Hernandez, who will be pitching for the Rockies today. He was their worst starting pitcher in the regular season with a 417 ERA and a 145 whip. But he had a positive record because the Rockies were so darn good at the plate. It's been a little different here in this postseason. This one's taken out to center, and that is going to be out number one on the line out to center field. Now here we go. It is the one-two pitch, and Edmundo Sosa is going to take it for strike three. Maybe a favorable call for Eliezer Hernandez there. That'll bring up Nolan Arenado, batting just 235 on the postseason, and Zach Veen gets underneath this one, a high fly ball out to right field. That will officially end the first inning. J.D. Martinez on a 3-2 count at the plate is going to get a base hit, a leadoff hit. For J.D. Martinez up against Jack Flaherty to lead off the top of the second inning, and that should help Colorado hopefully get something started here. It's been their offense that has helped them win these games. There's a hit out to left center field by Hilliard, but underneath it is Harrison Bader for out number one. J.D. Martinez has to retreat back to first. Here's Zach Veen. He's been very good in this postseason, and this one is booted. Veen is going to get there. He is safe. Two runners on base here with that infield base hit. Here's Ryan McMahon, and McMahon takes this one out to right field. This one is pretty deep, but not quite deep enough. That is out number two. Here's the attempt to tag by J.D. Martinez. The throw is way off, so Martinez is safe. It's runners on the corners for Hampson, who goes down swinging. And unfortunately, Garrett Hampson striking out with runners in scoring position. The first real chance to score a run is thwarted by Jack Flaherty in the defense. Here's Ryan Mountcastle batting 500 in the postseason. This one down to Ryan McMahon, and he will throw it on to first base for out number one in the bottom of the second inning. Lisa Hernandez only 15 pitches into his outing. Here's Tyler O'Neill, and he had a 214 average, but O'Neill takes this one to the left field corner, and it is just over the wall. It is gone, and it will give the St. Louis Cardinals the one nothing lead. His third home run of the postseason, Tyler O'Neal, one of the new leaders of this Cardinals lineup over recent years, gets the job done here in game number one of the NLCS. Here's Dylan Carlson up at the plate. He lines this one out to Garrett Hampson at second base for out number two in the bottom of the second. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Only batting 143 this postseason, and he's a seven-hole hitter because of it, but he jams this one for a bloop hit into center field. So a two-out hit. Here's Austin Nola batting 125 on the postseason, but this is the timely hitting the Cardinals are looking for. Into the gap as Hilliard gets over there, and Goldschmidt is going to find his way to the plate for the second run of the ball game, and the Cardinals Lead it 2 nothing at home. Here's Harrison Bader, the nine-hole hitter, and he's going to hit this one right out to center, and Hilliard's underneath it to end the second inning. We go to the top of the third where Tim Anderson will lead this thing off. Tim Anderson gets underneath this one. This is an infield fly, and this one going to go right over to shortstop for out number one. Jack Flaherty just 41 pitches into his outing as well. Both pitchers doing a pretty decent job, except the Leeser giving up a couple in that last inning. There's Chris Bryant striking out as well. That's Flaherty's fourth strikeout of the ball game. 
He now has Pete Alonzo, who he's already struck out today, and he'll do it again on a knuckle curve in the zone. And Flaherty is dishing. Here's Tommy Edmond up the plate, leading off for the Cardinals in the bottom of the third, and Hampson takes care of that one for out number one. Eliezer Hernandez now 37 pitches into his outing. Edmundo sews up at the plate. He struck out the first time. This time he's going to get jammed on a high fly ball out to left field. Chris Bryant makes the grab for out number two in the bottom of this third inning. Nolan Arenado up at the plate against his former team in the NLCS, and he gets a base hit up the middle on a 3-1 count. So Nolan Arenado will take first base for Ryan Mountcastle here up at the plate, and he's going to line one out to Garrett Hampson, and that will end the third inning. We have our first commercial break here at Bush Stadium. It is the Cardinals 2, Rockies 0. We'll be back after this. And we're back for the top of the fourth. Here's Salvador Perez. He's 0 for 1 today, and he goes down swinging inside. Fastball should have laid off on that one. But he's Flaherty's six strikeout. Here's J.D. Martinez, one for one on the day, and he's going to make it two for two with another hit up the middle. No, look at this. What a play, but he still is safe. J.D. keeping that hustle. Here's Sam Hilliard up at the plate now, and Hilliard takes this one into right field. That's another base hit. He gets that one past first base, and Goldschmidt couldn't make the play. So two on. With one out, here's Zach Veen, and this one's down the right field line. That's going to get all the way into the corner. Like I said, Zach Veen has been playing very well this postseason, and he's going to get the first RBI of this game for Colorado. They cut the lead in half. It's 2-1. to one. Ryan McMahon, unfortunately, has a bat at bat here, a 1-1 one -one count, and he swings, and he's going to get an infield fly for out number two. That leaves it up to Garrett Hampson again. He struck out with runners in scoring position, and now he lines out to right field. So we're through the middle of the fourth. Full count to Tyler O'Neill, who hit a home run before, but this one's a grounder over to Garrett Hampson, and that is out number one here in this bottom of the fourth inning. Dylan Carlson up at the plate, and he's going to dribble one here onto second base, and Hampson with a really nice defensive play to make the second out. Garrett Hampson with a couple of straight plays on defense. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Hampson's not going to get to that one. That is a base hit for Paul Goldschmidt, and he's on base again at first. Here's Austin Nola up at the plate, and he's jammed here. This one's going to be a high fly ball over to shortstop, and Tim Anderson's going to make this play to end the fourth inning. It's still 2-1. to one. Tim Anderson up at the plate now after making the defensive play, and this hit is over to second. Look at this play on defense, and they will get Tim Anderson out for out number one in the top of the fifth. Flaherty reaching 75 pitches already. Here's Chris Bryant up at the plate, and this is a high fly ball out to right field. This one not going to make it to the warning track. It's a routine fly ball for out number two. Pete Alonzo at the plate. He's done nothing much today. Let's see, and this is going to be a high fly ball over to short. Just a simple pop-up, and Alonzo has not had good plate appearances today, but we are through the middle of the fifth inning here at Bush Stadium. Harrison Bader will lead it off for St. Louis, and he's going to draw a leadoff walk off Eliezer Hernandez, uh, Eliezer Hernandez. Here's Tommy Edmond up at the plate. This one's dribbled down the first baseline. Alonzo gets it, tags him, but not called out. He's going to have to throw it a first, and he does for out number one. Edmundo Sosa now. This one, an infield fly ball, and that is going to be caught by Garrett Hampson for out number two. A lot of infield flies in this game really on both teams. Here's Nolan Arenado up at the plate again, and he hits this one deep out to right center field. Hilliard ranges all the way back to make the play and end the fifth inning. Here's Salvador Perez to lead off the top of the six against Jack Flaherty, and this one's dribbled onto third base. Coming in, Nolan Arenado, what a fire onto first base. What an arm for out number one. Here's J.D. Martinez. He's two for two on the day. This one's dribbled onto short and thrown onto first for out number two. So a couple of ground outs early in this sixth inning. Here's Sam Hilliard. He's one for two on the day, and he goes down swinging at the super high heat. Couple of strikeouts that way from Flaherty thus far. Here's Ryan Mountcastle, 0 for two on the day, but he's going to jam a hit into center field. Another blue hit in front of Hilliard. That's it has been a couple of those today on the 3-1 pitch. So that is enough of Eliezer Hernandez, and Jose Alvarado is coming in. He pitched one game thus far in this postseason, two innings. 
Gave up a bunch of hits to right-handed batters and gave up a couple of runs. Here is the ground ball. Hampson throwing on to second to get one out. They are in no way going to get that second out. Here's Dylan Carlson, and this one is a fly ball out to right field. Zach Veen's going to head over and make the catch and a retreat to first base. So runner on first with two away for Paul Goldschmidt, and he has an infield fly ball down the first baseline for Pete Alonzo to end the sixth inning. And we are at our second commercial break. It is two to one. Both teams with six hits through six innings. We'll be back after this. And we're back, and the Cardinals are going to bring in Brad Hand, who has pitched one and two-thirds thus far in this postseason and has allowed a couple of runs already. We'll see what he can do here today. Zach Veen up at the plate. He's going to get a strikeout. Slider down low was just off the plate, but he went and swung at it. Here's Ryan McMahon, and he's going to take a bean in the back. Ryan McMahon's going to take his base, and we got one on with one away. Here's Garrett Hampson, who just has not been on the ball today and yet again isn't in a routine fly ball to center for the second out. And that's going to be it for Brad Han. Here comes Ryan Helsley, who hasn't allowed a single run in two and a third innings in three games in this postseason. He's allowed some hits. They just haven't amounted to scores. Let's see what happens. Tim Anderson up at the plate, and there's an infield fly ball, and this one... Three guys over there, but Goldschmidt's going to be the one to make the, or Mountcastle, that is, is going to be the one to make the catch. So we are through the middle of the seventh, and we are at the seventh inning stretch. Two to one, still Cardinals. We'll see if they can close it out here. Austin Nola up at the plate, one for two today, and he's going to take a strikeout. He thought he had a walk. He is very disappointed with that call. Harrison Bader up at the plate now, and Bader, ground ball over to Tim Anderson, who's going to throw it on to first. Pete Alonzo makes the grab, and it's out number two. Here's Tommy Edmond, the leadoff hitter. He's over three today. He has yet to be on base. Here's Hampson, and there's the catch, ranging back into shallow right field. We are through seven. Chris Bryant, one for three on the day. Rockies need a hero. Where's it going to come from? Here's Bryant hitting this one out to right field, ranging back, making the grab at the warning track. What a catch out there and right. Here's Pete Alonzo now, 0 for 3. He's had a bunch of bad plate appearances, and that's just another one, striking out with nobody on base. Jordan Hicks going to come into this game now. 34 regular season games. He has not pitched a single game in this postseason thus far, but he is ready to take on the Colorado Rockies. Salvador Perez is going to swing. A very late swing, very late decision, and we're through the middle of eight, and John Curtis is going to be the pitcher for the Colorado Rockies here in this bottom of the eighth inning. 338 ERA and two games pitched in this postseason. He's been bad against lefties. Good thing Edmundo Sosa is a righty, and look at this grab. Salvador Perez on the foul tip, making the catch for out number one. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's one for three. This is another ground ball. Tim Anderson boots it. Anderson picks it up, and he's not going to get Arenado. So Arenado, an infield base hit. Here's Mount Castle, and Alonzo makes the grab for out number two. Arenado will stick at first base. Here's Tyler O'Neill. This is a grounder over to Anderson. This time he does make the play and throws him out. A little off that throw was, but nice catch from Alonzo. We're through eight. Last chance for the Rockies is coming up after these messages. Giovanni Gallegos is called upon. He was 47 of 53 on save opportunities in the regular season. This is going to be his first chance in the postseason. J.D. Martinez will lead it off. He's two for three on the day. This one's headed up the middle, and then look at this, ranging over and making the play for out number one. Nice job on the throw to Mountcastle. Here's Sam Hilliard, 3-2 pitch, and Hilliard gets a hit up the middle. So a very speedy base runner is on first base with just one away against Giovanni Gallegos with a chance. Here's Zach Veen. He's been very good, but this one's a chopper over to second. He does move the runner over. Runner in scoring position. Can McMahon get it done? McMahon hits this one, but it's just a little off. He just gets under it, and that is a routine center field fly out, and it is done. Game number one belongs to the St. Louis Cardinals by a score of two to one. First loss for the Rockies in this postseason. We'll see how they handle it 
They're going to have to come back here, stay here at Bush Stadium for game number two. We'll see how that goes. Flaherty was great. Eliza Hernandez, not a terrible outing, honestly. Uh, he only allowed two earned runs in five innings pitched, but Flaherty just a bit better, six innings pitched and just one earned run. And that helped for this Cardinals pen to take it to the end. Zach Veen was two for four with a double and an RBI. Again, he was the best hitter in the lineup, which is very, very, very strange to say. It's hard to win games when you're reliant on a rookie. But Zach Veen has proved that the moment is not too big for him. A Tyler O'Neill home run hurt, and of course the Austin Nola RBI was the game-winning RBI. Little did we know. But it is a 1-0 series lead. The ALCS has yet to begin, but we have game number two of the NLCS coming up in the next episode. It will be John Means against Miles Mikolas. Give me your predictions in the comments section below. Thank you to Kaz Cray Gaming, Rigo Berto Ramirez, Raider Bear Comics, Christian Horn, Derek Vance, TNJ, and Beat Up Productions for being channel members. And a special thanks to T-Clink24 for being a franchise quarterback. If you guys would like to support, make sure you go and check out the options with the join button below this video and come hang out on Twitch. We have a blast. I'll see you all next time. I feel you face somehow.